So now, as the Nidhi ma'am has asked one question to you, that uh, do you have any idea about infographics? What infographics are, and maybe some of you have used infographics in your teaching learning process also. I believe that. So in the chat box, uh, you can give your responses. Yes, very. Yes, sir. Right. Uh, uh, information through graphics. Okay. So let's just explore more about infographics. What are infographics? And uh, through uh, uh, many tools, you can create infographics. Uh, today, we are going to discuss and demonstrate one tool of creating infographic. That is, uh, we are going to use Canva. And after that, we will be creating uh, concept maps with the help of visual understanding environment. So let's start first with the presentation and then we will do the hands-on. Just one minute, please give me one minute. I hope the screen is visible to you all. Yes, it is. Thank you. So in this slide, uh, we have just mentioned a few examples of uh, graphics. Uh, you, uh, in your normal uh, teaching learning process, in your normal uh, days, you must have used these terms. Charts, maps, diagrams, photographs, images, drawings, and paintings. These are the uh, examples of graphics. Okay, so uh, graphic, if we talk about the definition of graphic, it is uh, an image or visual representation of an object, combined text, illustration, and color. These are a few examples of uh, graphics. And uh, through graphics, you are conveying some information to your audience. Like if you are a science teacher and you are taking help of the diagrams, through diagrams, you are trying to uh, explain them what actual object looks like. And similarly, the photographs are the another example of graphics. Uh, uh, like uh, they do not contain the text, but uh, you may... Uh, uh, recall or refresh your memories if you look uh, the old photographs of yours and uh, they will uh, somewhere convey some information of uh, information or some memories which uh, you had earlier. So similarly, there are some more examples of uh, graphics given here, charts, map, drawing, etc. Now, if we talk about infographics, Infographics always contain some information related to graphics. If you add information to your graphics and you want to convey a long message to your audience, you can take help of infographics because in a crisp manner or in a, in a very short manner, you can convey the message what you are trying to uh, convey to your audience. So there are, uh, we were talking about graphics and here uh, we have mentioned the importance of graphics. If we look at the slide, we have uh, given some points here that infographics uh, improves memory of the user and uh, the user can also extract some information on the subject uh, on which the graphics is drawn. So if you are showing a graphic to your audience, to your students, if you are do teaching to your students, the uh, students will be able to extract the information through the graphics which you are showing them. It also develops their conceptual understanding. So like uh, if you are showing a graphic on a particular uh, concept to your students and uh, you are asking them that what you are getting 
uh, by uh, what you are getting by seeing uh, this infographic, uh, this graphics only. So uh, you are somewhere trying to uh, introduce your concept to the students. And if you explain that concept to your students, it may enhance their conceptual understanding regarding that particular topic which you are going to introduce in your class. And graphics also helps in uh, communicating the complex information to the audience. Uh, similarly, it, uh, uh, we, uh, we have discussed this earlier also that it is a visual representation of uh, any information or if you are showing the visual information of data, then uh, you can say that the particular graphic is convey conveying information, a visual information about the data. Uh, in case of maps also, we have just, uh, given the example of maps. and charts. So if you are showing charts to your students, uh, we always uh, show some data uh, with the help of charts. So uh, charts are the visual representation of data. And also, if you are showing graphics to someone, uh, they can add valuable context and information. Obviously, graphics, uh, if you are uh, conveying a message through graphics, it provides unique and it is always a time-saving resource. So uh, in this slide, uh, uh, we have tried to show an information with the help of graphics. Like if you, are, uh, if you see on your uh, left-hand side, you will see, uh, you can uh, figure it out that we are trying to convey the information that how useful it is to wear a mask always. Okay, just uh, see it carefully. Uh, we have uh, given some pictures and uh, uh, below that picture, we have also given a little information about that particular graphic and in this whole infographic, uh, we have tried to convey the information that uh, wearing mask is always important and it is, it helps you in protecting from pollution and germs. Like in the, the infographic which is given on the right hand side, here we have shown some uh, charts. And uh, we, uh, we are just uh, uh, showing some data. Just a minute. So uh, the infographic given on the right hand side, it is showing the data. Like as the term infographic clearly says that infographics are the graphic vi uh, uh, visual representation of any information data or knowledge. If you are conveying information with the help of graphics, it, it is always called infographics. What are the educational use of using infographics? It is used as visual aids. It uh, can be used as discussion starters. And if you want to introduce any topic uh, in your class or uh, to your audience, the infographic will uh, always help in giving an overview of the lesson and also the user or the audience can visualize the data with the help of infographics. There are many more uses other than these uses. We have mentioned only four here, but there are a lot of uh, uses of uh, uh, using infographic in your uh, work or in your teaching learning. So let's talk about the features of infographic. Infographics uh, are comprehensive, they are appealing, they are retentive. Uh, whenever you are conveying the information with the help of infographic, they uh, should look very appealing. If you are uh, designing an infographic, it should be very attractive uh, so that the audience can uh, take the information what, uh, what you are uh, giving to, uh, to them. 
and it would be interesting for them to look at the infographic and always uh, if you are using the infographic the information will be retentive to them again here we have uh, we are conveying information with the help of graphics and here you can see that uh, five uh, five info five types of infographics are given here uh, in the first picture, you are able to see that uh, the difference between tea and coffee is given. And in the another picture, the data is being represented with the help of uh, maps and charts. And in the third infographic, the process of photosynthesis has been shown. And below that, some information is given in the form of timeline. So there are many form of infographics which you can create. It depends on the need uh, and upon the requirement uh, how you are drawing the infographic. And there are many infographic tools through which you can create your infographics. First one is Canva, second one is EasyD, then Vengage, Pictochart, Wise me infogram visualize dot me. Now here is uh, the home is uh, home page of Canva has been shown, but uh, we have just uh, pasted some screenshot of Canva. But uh, we are I am not going to explain the software through the screenshot. We are going directly to this software, or you can call the application. So I'm stopping my presentation here and we are opening the uh, this application, Canva. Stopping share, sharing the screen. Uh, Prem sir, uh, I am seeing your hand raised. Do you have any question? Till now, if you have any question, you can ask. Infographic tools. Uh, yes, Anna ma'am. In the chat box, uh, they are asking for uh, infographic tools. Okay, I have just shown some tools in my slide. Uh, you can use Canva. It is free and open source software uh, canva is free you can use many features of it is free but uh, some features are paid and second one is easily uh, you can use uh, easily also but many features of easily is now paid so we suggest you to use canva and another one is pictochart then uh, wise me there are many more tools of uh, creating infographics And we will share the presentation also with you um, uh, in our WhatsApp group. So you can export that, uh, those tools. Achha, PPT presentation too fast. So, uh, no problem, sir, if you have any question. Raj Bhushan, sir, if you have any question, you can ask. So this is the home screen of uh, Canva. Simply you have to type Canva in your Google, Google Chrome uh, search engine. And the very first link, you can click on that. Uh, the link you get, the first link. Okay, let me show how you can search the Canva also. So here is your uh, search engine. Just type Canva in it. 
And the first link, canva.com. Just click on this. Now you will go to the home page of Canva. Okay, so now uh, you can see there are many features of uh, Canva, which is uh, through Canva you can you can create documents. You can find the uh, feature of documents. You can use whiteboard. You can create your own presentations through this uh, application. You can create the social media posts through this application. You can create small size videos also. You can print your work, your creation. You can create small websites. And if you click these three dots, you will find more options to use. The first one is of infographic. You can create infographics. You can create collage. You can create your desktop wallpaper. You can create graphs, books cover, mind maps. And you, if you scroll further, you can find more options. Like if you want to create a magazine cover or a book cover, you can create that also. You can create your Zoom virtual background. You can create calendar, posters, worksheets, reports, planner, comic strips, proposals. So you can see that there are a lot of options, a lot of features in Canva which you can use and if you click on infographics or on uh, on any other feature you will find many templates of that like if i have clicked uh, on infographics i am getting the templates which are already given in this application uh, 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 i'm just getting all those templates so you can use these templates which are already given here uh, in this uh, application or you can create your own template like if you want to create timeline uh, here is one template if you want to create a, a brochure uh, it is a template for brochure and it is it depends upon you how you are utilizing these templates so uh, there are more templates are given for photo collages, desktop wallpaper. You can modify these templates as well. Like graphs, book covers. Suppose uh, I am creating, okay, let's, uh, let me explain the features first. So here you can find the features of Canva. And if you see on your, on the left hand side of the screen, the same features you can find here also. Under projects, you can open your already created projects. You will find your creation here under the tab of projects. If you click on project, the all projects uh, will be visible to you. If you want to uh, see your own project, then you have to click on your project. And if you someone has shared uh, already created work with you, then you can find that shared work under the option of shared with you. So on the left hand side, there are many more options. And I would request you all to open this application in your laptop if you are using the laptop with me. And the same templates which I have just shown you here on the main uh, home page, you can find those templates on this uh, on the left hand side of the screen under the feature of template. So you can see a number of templates given here. And you can also find the areas on which templates are given. Like if you want to create something uh, related to business, something related to social media, something related to education, video marketing, etc. 
you can click uh, the particular option which you want and you can get the uh, templates based on that particular area suppose i am clicking on education i will get the templates related to education like you can see that uh, uh, it, it comes uh, the template appears for a particular grade for particular subject for particular resource type so in this manner you can explore the features of canva either through the uh, options given on the left hand side of the screen or uh, options given on the main home page so now uh, let's start with one infographic we are we want to create a new infographic uh, now one more thing here you can see the brand, uh, brand template and against this brand template you may see this symbol of crown wherever you see this symbol of crown it means that particular feature is paid you have to purchase this figure a uh, feature you have to pay for it so uh, if you belong to any organization and your organization wants to purchase the features of canva or the whole uh, application you can pay for that otherwise if you want to use the free uh, features and the free version of canva you can do that also now let's start with one design i'll click on the create design create a design tab given on the top right hand side of the screen when i click this create a design tab it again uh, uh, asking me uh, for the option uh, what do i want to create uh do i want to create a document uh, a whiteboard presentation or infographic graph etc let's click on infographic i'm just uh, seeing your chat that's why i paused so after clicking uh, the option of infographic you will find many options here on the left hand side of your screen okay under this infographic you will find many templates you have to choose a template according to your requirement according to your need whatever you want to create you can choose that particular template i am just taking uh, this one so when i click this template i am getting this message upgrade to use this template it means that this template is not free i have to pay for this template but i want to use a free template then let's check which template is free let's click on this so yes this one is free so this is the whole template you can see and if you click on this template you will find that there you uh, are getting the option of modifying this particular template according to your need or according to your requirement like if you want to change the text of this template just click on it and write the text whatever you want to write if you want to change this block also you can change this block or uh, just delete this and the whole block got disappeared
so this is the one thing that uh, you can uh, do the modification in the given template also but there are more options through which you can do the modifications so if you see uh, on the left hand side of the screen you will find the option of design template text brand uploads draw projects and applications if you want to change the design of your template you can change the design as per your requirement click on the just click on the design and you will find uh, many designs of that particular infographic if you want to add more designs more uh, uh, designs to your template uh, the little designs you can find here under the elements if you click element you will find lots of pictures here and as per your requirement you can choose a picture to add in your template <clears throat> and also uh, here you can find already given options like arrow line money circle uh, etc but if you want something else you can sim uh, simply write here in the search elements and you can add that element in your uh, infographic so like i am just i just want to search uh, for sun here you will find many elements of sun and you can take that particular element like if i am liking this picture uh, this one is pro it means you i have to purchase again this is pro this is pro okay so this one is free and uh, as i have clicked on this picture it automatically uh, comes into my template but because it is the same color it is not visible to you so i can change the background of uh, this template or i can change the design of whole template just delete this already given blocks you can change the design of whole template i have selected the whole template at once and i just Mm, I'm going to change its background. So when I clicked on uh, one template, it is asking me that uh, do I want to add this template as a new page or do I want to replace the current page? So if I, I want to replace the current page, I have I have to click on this option. Otherwise, I can add <clears throat> a template as a new page also. So I I am only showing you how you can use the features of uh, this application. and i would request you all to create one infographic so like uh, uh, i can add a new page with the help of this design or if i want to add a new page to my infographic i can click on the option given here below this uh, template uh, the option of add page and uh, when i click the add page option you can see that one more page has been added to my work again there are more formatting options uh, given here uh, in this uh, application you can animate your uh, creation you can give the animation to your creation you can change its position and you can also lock its uh, lock your work and this is the option of background color 
you can change the background of your template with the help of this uh, background color option if you click uh, any uh, on any color you will find that the background has been changed you can change the background as per your choice one minute please Sorry. So we were discuss discussing the features of uh, this particular application. So we have discussed the option of elements. Now let's come to the option of uh, text uh, with the help of this. Uh, sorry to disturb you, ma'am. There is one question. How to change the background? Achha. Uh, yes, you can change the background of your creation with the help of this button background color it is before the animate option before the animate option you will find the option of background color after clicking this you can find many colors clear so now if you want to change the text or if you want to write something new uh, if you want, uh, if you are creating your own work, you uh, you want to and you want to add a heading to your uh, text. You can add the heading or you can add the text with the help of this option. Just click on it, and you will find uh, the diff uh, text styles. You will find the text styles. You can add the heading. You can add a subheading. You can add a sub subheading to your uh, template. Okay, so. Mm. Like if you want to add a heading, just uh, first clear all these things. When you choose the uh, to add the text to your creation, you will find this uh, uh, box to add the text. Uh, I just suggest you to uh, take a blank template if you are trying to uh, create any infographic and in that blank template, you can add the elements and the text as per your uh, requirement. So like uh, some uh, randomly, I'm adding something here. In this manner, you can add the text. And uh, with the help of this option, add a subheading. You are uh, you can add the sub subheading to your uh, creation. And there are already uh, some already given text which you can use to your uh, infographic or to your creation which you are creating. Uh, like if you are creating a thank you card, you can use this text already. Uh, it is in a particular font. If you are making a card for Diwali for your, uh, for your friend or for your relatives, you can use this text and there are many more texts given here. So as per your choice and requirement, you can use uh, this. And under this uh, option, under the option of text, you will find the option of brand. It is, uh, you can, uh, you have to purchase this uh, feature. Then again, <clears throat> there is an option of uploads. The function of uploads is same as uh, uh, you must have explored earlier also. If you have already 
uh, you, uh, you are having uh, a content already in your uh, computer or in your laptop, you can upload that particular content to your uh, creation. Uh, so it is again asking you from where uh, your creation has to be fetched. Either you have uh, kept it in uh, Facebook, your uh, social media uh, browser or in the drive or Instagram or somewhere else. It is asking from it is to be fetched. And then uh, you can take your creation and you can add that thing in your template. So uh, there are three options. You can add, uh, you can upload images, you can upload videos, and you can upload audios also to your creation. So the next option is of draw. And when you click on this option, uh, you can see that there are many colored pens which has been appeared on the screen. So you can use the pen of your choice uh, and uh, it is on uh, it is of different sizes the uh, the uh, the size of the pen of the pen is different so like uh, um, if you want to use a marker you can this uh, uh, you can use this highlighter if you want to highlight something and if you want to write something in colored pen you can use this so you can use, uh, use accordingly and under this option of project, you can find your already created projects. Like someone has created these designs so under the uh, under the project, you can see these already created designs. This is the first. Uh, this is the one on which uh, we are working. So I have discussed till now the features of this application i would request you to explore the features and use it in a template and create your work so under a project you can find the designs you can find the folders also where you have saved your work and if you click these three bars you can again find the work which has been already created. So suppose you have created one thing, one, uh, uh, one template or one infographic or anything, and now you want to save that particular work, then how you can save your work? The process of saving your work is same as uh, uh, you save your work in other application. Just simply click on the file menu and under this file menu, you will find the option of save. And if you have created a particular folder for your work, then uh, you can save your work in that folder. And if you want to make a copy of your work, you can make a copy also and you can download that particular work also. And here you can see the option of version history. The function of version history is that if you share your work with someone else and you allow him or her to make changes in your work, uh, like if you are working in a collaborative manner and you want to see what changes the other has made, you can see it through, uh, through this version history. But as you can see, there is a symbol of crown. It means that this feature is paid. Okay. Uh, so other features you can see under this that view all comments, find and replace. Uh, like if you have worked in the Google Drive uh, in uh, uh, collaboration with other partners of yours, uh, you there is an option of comments. You can write uh, write comments uh, to your partner with uh, with whom you are working. And the same option is given here of uh, view all comments because we can share our work with others also, and we uh, we are the one who can allow or 
uh, we can give the permission to other to make the modification in your creation like you, uh, we work in the google drive so how we can do that now suppose this is one template and i am sharing it with someone else so i can write here the name of that person or uh, i can add the email id of that person with whom i want to share my work and uh, the another option is of sharing the link of my work so i can share the link of my creation with uh, another person and another person is allowed to make the changes in this template which you have made but if you want if you don't want to allow the person to make changes in your work and you want uh, your work not to be disturbed by someone else then there is also an option of locking your template if you want to lock your template you have to click on it just select your template or select your whole work which you have just created and click on this lock button if you click on this lock button your whole work will be locked and no one else is allowed to make any modification or any change in your work so in this manner also you can share your creation your work with someone else or if you want others if you allow others to make changes you just share your uh, work others in unlocked manner so this is a symbol of delete this is of uh, uh, making copy of your work and if you want uh, uh, to add pages to your work you can add page <clears throat> with this symbol and here also under the share button i have just explained how you can share your work with others and under this you will find the similar option which uh, you have seen in the file menu so you can download also your work and uh, you can also share your creation on social media uh, on instagram facebook page twitter facebook group there are more options of uh, social media and you can save your work here so you can see that uh, that under share option there are similar options which are given here uh, under the file menu if you are uh, you want to share this uh, your work as a message you can uh, email it also you can whatsapp uh, it also you can share it through facebook messenger etc you can explore more options here under the share menu this get canva pro is uh, asking you to purchase this application and this is the same symbol of uh, undoing your work and if you want to go on the home page again just click on it Oh, any questions till now? Uh, yes, ma'am. Uh, we have two questions in the chat box. Uh, uh, somebody yeah, is asking, uh, easily also have same features? Not same features. Easily has uh, different features. But now, is, uh, the, most of the features in easily are um, uh, paid. You have to purchase those features. And uh, they are also Some asking... features are same in easily. But not all features are same there. But uh, easily is also a great tool of creating infographics. Okay, and the next question is how to move under template? You can move your template with the help of animate button, which uh, I've just shown you during the presentation. There is a button of animate. You can use that. That's why I'm requesting you to uh, do the hands-on along with me. 
to show you again. I have chosen to create a blank template and on this blank template I am going to add some elements that I have added to sun. You can also resize your image, put it on the favorable place or you if you want to add uh, any other element you can choose the element of your choice whatever it depends on your need and requirement what you are trying to develop or what you are trying to create suppose this is an infographic i was want to change the background again i am explaining uh, some formatting features with the help of this uh, change background color, you can change the background. Mm. Let's take this gradient style. Okay, so this, uh, uh, with the help of this animate button, you can animate your template. But for this, you have to add uh, some pages in your work so that the animation comes out nicely. Here, uh, you can edit the timings and the position of uh, the infographic. Uh, Somebody is asking questions? for uh, maximum time limit. Maximum time limit is you see? 84. Uh, this, uh, this is along with animation, animate. Maximum. Uh, Take a second. question is the chat box? Mein, it was appeared in the chat box, but how to not. change? Okay, let me check the question. Maximum time limit, uh, I think. Uh, they want to ask that uh, they can animate that slide for an hour or more than hour, I think. Mm. So, of course, there will be, will be uh, there must be a time limit. Uh, you have to explore that, that uh, like I have shown you the option of edit timings. You can edit the timing here timing of animation it depends on your choice and just try that if you have chosen uh, it is for the animation for one hour does it work or not okay you can just uh, write you can just uh, choose the timings with this uh, option and it is again asking that do you want to apply this timing to all pages or to particular page uh, you can choose it as per your requirement. Uh, I hope I have given the answer of that query. Yes, ma'am. So now I want to see what you have created. We have enough time. You can share your creation. I'm just, uh, I requested you to explore this application and uh, explore the features given here. So now I would request you to show your creation. I am stopping the share screen option. And now you share what you have created. So, uh, 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 so, share here no? uh, with the help of share screen, sir. Sagar, sir uh, yes, ma'am. Uh, we have uh, given the rights to the participants. They can uh, share their screen. Uh, and uh, this we are doing only that uh, if you have any doubt, 
we can uh, discuss that doubt here and we can clarify the um, uh, confusions and uh, the queries. You can share your screen with the help of this share screen option. I am here with uh, I am with you till eleven fifteen till the tea break. You have but till then you have to share your creation with us. बताइए क्या बनाया है आप लोगों ने So Sagar sir has shared his screen. Good. Please introduce yourself. Yes, Sagar sir, you can unmute yourself. Hello, ma'am. Yes, hello, sir. Hello, I'm audible. Yes, sir, you yes, are. Ma'am, actually, I I prepare this infographic. Number of people using PC phone or tablet for this uh, training sessions. Okay. So I just added some pictures like a uh, tablet, phone, and the PCs. And I given okay. the some. Yes, you have created during the presentation, no? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Just now I did. I, I just give a simple information regarding number of people using PCs or okay, tablets. So one more thing I was want to share with you that Canva has a mobile application also. Yes, ma'am. So if I'm, you want to, I, yes, if you want to download uh, the mobile application of Canva, you can do that. Yes, ma'am. Actually, I prepared from mobile only. Okay, sir. Nice, nice. Okay, thank you, ma'am. Any suggestions from other participants? So Sagar sir has shared his creation with us. If others have any uh, suggestions for him for his uh, infographic, they can share. Thank you, Sagar sir. So anyone else from you uh, wants to share his or her work with us? So that we can know that you have explored this application and uh, you have also done the hands-on on this. Uh, Prem Chhatri, sir. Yes, ma'am. Uh, yes, do you want to say something? Yes, if you have created anything, uh, we are not asking uh, for a full fledged um, this uh, infographic or creation. If you have tried any feature, any one or two feature and you have created something you can share with us. We want your active participation. Or if you have any question, you can ask. Otherwise, I'll think that uh, everything is clear to you. हाँ जी कुछ भी आपने बनाया है तो कुछ भी सर यू कैन यूज़ दिस ऑप्शन ऑफ़ ज़ूम शेयर स्क्रीन यू कैन यूज़ द ऑप्शन ऑफ़ शेयर स्क्रीन You can share your creations with the option of this share screen. This it is a uh, feature of Zoom meeting. Hello, ma'am. Hello. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma uh, 
ये हो गया है मेरा तो शेयर करने से शेयर का ऑप्शन है ना साइट में मैम ये आप पीसी से कर रहे हैं या मोबाइल से पीसी से कर रहा है हम जो यू जॉइन फ्रॉम योर लैपटॉप पीसी और फ्रॉम योर मोबाइल लैपटॉप मैम लैपटॉप ना यस यस तो इफ यू सी द स्क्रीन ऑफ दिस ज़ूम एंड बिलो दिस स्क्रीन द बॉटम ऑफ द स्क्रीन यू विल फाइंड Where you can see the option of mic, video. After that, you will find the option of security, participants, and then share screen. Ah, ऐसा तो कुछ दिखने दे रहा है. Right में right hand side में ऊपर में एक share का button है ना? हाँ, share का है ना मैं share का. हाँ, तो वो share में वो share में आता है people with access edit में add people group हो सकते हैं. एंड देन नीचे में कोलैबोरेशन लिंक है मैं ना ग्रुप में आपको इसका फोटो भेजती हूँ हाँ एक बार भेजिए तो Yeah, I have just sent the picture of uh, the screen. आप देखेगा कि इस ऑप्शन को आपको क्लिक करना है. So in the meantime, does anyone else want to share his or her work? अगर नहीं, if no, that it means that you haven't tried. Share screen. Okay. इसलिए थोड़ा सा भी किया होगा, वो कर लेगा share. जिसने बिल्कुल ही नहीं किया होगा वो नहीं करेगा या हेलो मैम 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 यस योर स्क्रीन इज़ ये सो कर रही क्या हाँ बढ़िया मैम बहुत अच्छा आई जस्ट आपने हमारे साथ ही किया है ना हाँ तो मिला के फिर हम वो उसको तो मैम आई वुड रिक्वेस्ट यू टू एक्सप्लोर मोर फीचर्स इसमें बहुत सारे फीचर्स हैं बहुत सारे ऑप्शन हैं यू कैन डू लॉट ऑफ थिंग्स थ्रू दिस एप्लीकेशन आपने वट एवर यू हैव ट्राइड इट इज रियली गुड कम से कम आपने किया ना कुछ ऑप्शंस हेलो मैम हेलो यस सर यस सर हाँ जी मैम मैम आप इसमें और देखिएगा एलिमेंट्स में आप देखिए अगर इसमें आप यू आर नॉट गेटिंग द एलिमेंट्स ऑफ योर चॉइस यू कैन सर्च इन दिस एंड इफ देन आल्सो यू आर नॉट गेटिंग यू कैन टेक द पिक्चर्स फ्रॉम इंटरनेट एंड यू कैन यूज दोस If you have already something in your PC, you can add that with the help of this upload option. So you can do magic. Hello, ma'am. Your creation. And yes, Ganesh sir. Yes, ma'am. I have also prepared a uh, um, the infographic on my mobile, but mm -hmm. I am unable to uh, share it uh, on your screen. Okay. So, uh, if ma'am will share uh, her screen, then you will be able to share your screen. So, ma'am, up. Is me all features? Yeah, you just. Uh, I would request you to upload those features, and you can beautify your creation with the help of more options. So, thank you so much, ma'am. Now you can unshare your screen and unshare. How to unshare? Maybe <laughs> uh, you. Uh, okay, you will find the option of stop share. That would be in red color. Red color. Yes. Stop share. Just click on stop share. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, sir. अभी आप कर सकते हैं. 
Ganesh sir. Yes, sir. Since then, I'm trying you are to... You are going to laptop? Achha, chhi, ye to no, 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 I'm going to... Uh, yeah, I'm going through mobile, ma'am. Mobile. Uh, in, the, in mobile also, you will get the same option of share screen. Now, Praveen sir has shared his screen. Yes, uh, madam. Actually, I try uh, one uh, uh, one project, but uh, I share it uh, on the uh, chat box in the PDF in the PDF file. Please find you it. You have shared in the chat box. Yes, yes, madam. Achha, sir. I'll check that. Okay, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Look, Ganesh, sir, you in the, your mobile also you will find the same option of share screen, and if you click that, uh, you will be able to share your screen. Yes, in the ma'am, I'm trying to do so, but I am unable to share them my screen. Okay, sir. You 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 just uh, keep on trying. Okay, if then, uh, we'll send... see. No problem. Ma'am, can I send it to 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 the WhatsApp group? Yes, sir. Sure, you can uh, send it in the WhatsApp group. Okay, okay. So now we are viewing the screen of uh, Dikila Ji. Yes, what you are showing to us. Have you created anything through Canva? Here's Dikila Dolkarji. Please unmute yourself. Yeah. Uh, hi. Good morning. Like good morning. Good morning. Just created uh, like a chronological order of the Mughals. I was just adding up the pictures. I just had a work of this. So you just open your work, ma'am. We'll see. Uh, I have, uh, I'm sharing my screen, isn't it? Yes, your screen is visible, but uh, the file which you are trying to show is not, has not been opened. Can you please oh. open that? Okay, just wait a while. Is it visible now? Yes, ma'am. Yeah, yeah. So this was a timeline I had created. But uh, we are not able to see that timeline, ma'am. Oh. Are your screen... Uh, it is a stub, ma'am. Okay, I'll try again. Uh, any other can so I'll stop sharing it. Okay, ma'am. So, anyone else? Ma'am, please check. I, I've already shared my uh, in the WhatsApp group. Okay, sir. Take let them. Okay, sir. I have seen your work. It is the template you have designed. And it's nice. Yes, ma'am. It is on fundamental rights. So, sir has created yes. a template on fundamental rights. Uh, he has, uh, as you can see in the WhatsApp group also, he has given some information about the rights and also the picture relevant to those rights. Okay, nice, sir. Thank you, ma'am. Okay, I will see this also, the PDF on Google, which... Uh, uh, yes, ma'am, Praveen sir has shared, shared the PDF. Yes. Ah, yes, yes. yes. Thank you. Thank you. So others are also requested to explore this application and create something. And we will also give uh, a homework to you based on this application. You have to do that also. That was spelling, okay. That's I will correct the spelling. 
so uh, do you have any question i am no problem sir uh, this is a name given galaxy a71 may i know your good name sir i believe that this is not your name this is a device name of yours which you are using galaxy a71 sir your good name please please unmute yourself and tell your tell us your uh, good name so thanks to all who have shared this uh, their work with us okay that's nice uh, that you have shared in the whatsapp group but uh, we wanted to see here uh, during this uh, session we want to see the your work during this session so that others can also give their suggestion on your work and uh, we will see that how uh, you are using the features of this application so it is ended from my side if you have anything to ask you can ask otherwise i am going to uh, give this session to the coordinators ms nidhi and ms anna okay so thank you so much uh, gulshan ma'am for providing a detailed overview of online